Men are facing a big crisis right now, and whether we like to admit it or not, society has created millions of lonely and addicted men. There is a lot of discussion in the internet about male loneliness and how it is at an all-time high, with millions of opinions about it. So, what is causing this crisis to happen? If you identify as male, this video might give you some insights. As we make our way through this video, even if you don't identify as male, consider your father, brother, partner, and friends. If you've ever wondered why they act the way they do, we hope this video in the comment section will give you some insight. So is there a rise in male loneliness? And where is it coming from? Let's find out. Disclaimer, this is not to say that only men experience loneliness and that women do not, nor to say one's experience is worse than the other. The truth is, both men and women can struggle with loneliness, but the reasons and ways they experience it can vary. This video focuses on male loneliness, and we will cover female loneliness in another video. Also, the views expressed here are based on personal opinions and experiences and may not reflect everyone's perspective. Please consider them as one viewpoint among many. Defining loneliness. What makes a person lonely? It really depends on who you ask. According to a study published in the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology, men and women define loneliness differently. For men, loneliness meant a lack of groups, whether that's a group of friends or a community to be part of. For women, loneliness was more dependent on their dyadic relationships with romantic partners. That doesn't mean that men don't feel lonely when they don't have a romantic relationship. What this tells us is that when men report loneliness, it shouldn't be disregarded as romantic loneliness, but rather a lack of people and support in numerous areas, including friendship and even family. So as we make our way through this video, think of the men in your life. Where is all of this loneliness coming from, and why men? Researchers Dr. Ferdy Botha and Dr. Marley Bauer found numerous causes or contributors to male loneliness. Their article published in BMC Public Health listed increased social isolation, romantic partnership disillusion, having a long-term disability, and stronger beliefs that men should be the breadwinners of the household as features that were associated with increased loneliness. They also mentioned something that is extremely important yet increasingly rare amongst younger men, job security. Job security can give us hope for our relationships, money to support these relationships, and even a means to build new relationships. It is also an important contributor to the positive self-image of men. Without a stable job and a steady income, how could they even afford to see their friends or take someone out on dates? Without a salary and a way to contribute to society, a man calls his own value into question. Loneliness isn't gendered, but men and women do face different challenges when it comes to loneliness. Men struggle to express their loneliness. Many men would talk about the weather or admit to other struggles like addiction, rather than admitting to being lonely. If you've seen a lot of videos or memes about male loneliness, you might think that men actually talk about their loneliness a lot. It's important to remember that social media is not real life, and expressing anguish anonymously on the internet does nothing to ease it. In an effort to feel seen and heard, men can gravitate towards manosphere internet personalities. This isn't always helpful because these personalities are often limited to parroting the struggles of lonely men, rather than providing practical help. Romanticizing loneliness With the perceived rise in male loneliness, there has also been a rise in media that reflects this change. Movies like Her and Blade Runner 2049 are cultural touchstones for how some men see themselves. The protagonists in these films are deeply lonely men who try to embrace their emotions but can only share these feelings with manufactured love interests. To some men, that might sound extremely familiar. Even before the pandemic trapped everyone indoors, the computer was a lot of men's only hope for connection. Porn replaced sex and video games replaced real human interaction. With movies and TV shows centering around people who long for true interaction, that pain seemed to mean something. Now, men see these romanticized versions of loneliness not only as something they relate to, but as something they can use. Sometimes this turns into motivation, fuel for the gym, or other methods of self-improvement. For other men, loneliness only makes them feel cast out and rejected. Not only by potential romantic partners, but by society as a whole. 
Technology We all want different things in life, but technology like social media can project an ideal of success that we all feel like we should meet. For many men, part of being successful is having someone they adore by their side. But beyond that, what do men want out of relationships and how does technology affect that? The relationship between men and women has changed. Men feel that DMs and Tinder aren't just the easiest way to try to win the affection of women, but also the only way. Men struggle to meet and court women because the channels to do so are extremely competitive. The unfortunate truth is that the best times to meet women and form relationships are when you're young, in high school or university. Past that point, it becomes more difficult. Male loneliness is on the rise because outside of high school and university, and the experiences associated with those periods of life, we have to rely on technology to meet people. This creates the reality we find ourselves in. Men competing with other men in a competition that women don't even realize they're judging. So, as our social spaces continue to be replaced with online convenience, men and women will only become more lonely. The sense of competition between men is on a global scale thanks to social media. A 2024 study found that it affects men differently than women. The researchers found that problematic Instagram use is directly associated with general anxiety, social anxiety, and loneliness. For men, social media doesn't remind you that you should be competing. For those who have struggled to maintain friendships, relationships, or close ties with family, it can feel like social media is yelling, you're losing, every time you log on. Loneliness is a trap. Is it even okay for men to be lonely? Of course it is, but some men don't realize that. A lot of men struggle to admit that they're lonely. For some men, loneliness and the depression that often accompanies it are flaws in their masculinity. Part of the masculine image is being a valuable partner or a sought-after individual. If you aren't achieving that, it can feel like you're failing or missing out on a vital part of life. This can harm your mental health, pushing you further out towards the fringes of society if you fall down the wrong rabbit holes. Communities like the incel community have formed around this exact process. Unfortunately, despite being a community based on the issue of male loneliness, the incel community provides nothing to heal male loneliness. By becoming resentful of society and feeling cheated by your circumstances, your loneliness can become exacerbated by these negative feelings and emotions, rather than alleviating them. In other words, blaming others and becoming resentful will only make things worse. How it affects everyone. If you aren't a man, you might have wondered how all this affects you. Every man has a woman in his life and every woman has a man in his life. The effects of male loneliness are widespread and can affect anyone. This loneliness can alter social dynamics, making community interactions less vibrant and supportive, which impacts women navigating these shared spaces. Additionally, men's loneliness can contribute to mental health issues, adding emotional burdens in women who provide support. Men don't need women to solve the loneliness issue because it isn't women's fault. But if you do want to help, reach out to your father, your brothers, or the other men in your life that you care about. Defeating loneliness. Find your motivation for socializing again. If you are disheartened by romance and find that romantic love doesn't motivate you, try making friends first. It's important that you make friends that are healthy for you. Joining a community like the incel community won't help. If you feel lonely, try to reaffiliate yourself with people. Reach out to old friends or try joining new communities. If you know of a man who is lonely, you can help too. You can have a loneliness intervention, which sounds intimidating but can really just be casually inviting your friend, dad or brother out and having a heart to heart. Unfortunately, men can get in their own way when it comes to overcoming their loneliness. It can be difficult for men to break their masculine persona and be open about their loneliness. If you're a man who craves a romantic relationship, low self-esteem can be critical in your ability to form the relationship you want. If there is something that you're unsatisfied with in your life, the best thing you can do is work on improving yourself. Sometimes loneliness feels like something out of your control. If you suffer from mental illness like depression or anxiety, it can seem impossible to escape loneliness. Sometimes it just takes that first step. If finding new friends or asking someone out seems like a bit too much for you right now, start small and work your way up. If mental illness is getting in your way, 
Take one thing at a time and seek help and advice from a professional. If you found this video informative, remember to leave a like and subscribe to Psych2Go for more videos like this. Good luck, Psych2Goers. You've got this.